Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I found this in my email last night, <clears throat> and it was a little late then, so I thought as soon as I had a chance, I was going to share it with you. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, and it's 3.39 p.m. All right, this is a, a prophetic word from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Julie Wedby from Behold I Come is the name of her. It's I am calling you now dot blogspot dot com. All right. Um, it was put up Saturday, November 7th of 2020. And the title is It Now Comes with Fury. Prepare accordingly. My kingdom will soon be realized. The plumb line is being laid. And as I have taught, you can only have one master. A nation divided cannot stand. It is now evident across the world the choice most have made. And where their allegiance lies, for them a day of reckoning is at hand. Those who have sinned by the law will be judged by the law. He that rejects me and does not receive my words has one that judges him. My word will be the just judge. Okay, I think I read that right. While the church was sleeping, a great evil has been unleashed and gained great strength. Recompense is here, and what the offenders of my truth have sowed, they will now reap. They who have sown injustice will reap calamity after calamity, and the rod they wield in fury will be broken. Woe to the inhabitants of the lands! who languish in willful sin and compromise, lies and deception, truly they will stand naked before me and their shame will be known to the world as an example of their wickedness. Hmm. I will take vengeance on the evildoers of the lands. Choose this moment who you will serve. There is no more. I'm sorry. Time is no more. Watch as Babylon's descent into the destiny which has been foretold for her unfolds before your eyes. Babylon is fallen. Have I not told you the hour is much later than you would know it to be? Jasper, stop it. Stop. Oh, he's got himself a roach up in my chair. And it goes down under between the chair and, and the cushion. And now he's picking on it to get it out of there. Oh, I might as well just consider that chair shredded. <laughs> no, maybe not. I'm sorry. This is a very serious word, and I'm, I get easily distracted with noises. All right, let's go back up here. Uh, watch as Babylon's descent into the destiny which has been foretold for her unfolds before your eyes. Babylon is fallen. Have I not told you the hour is much later than you would know it to be? The trumpets are sounding across the world. Those who have ears to hear what I have been saying, those whose spiritual eyes are wide open, are prepared to you 
My coming as your groom will not be a surprise. It has begun now with fury. Prepare accordingly as I lead you. When the last one of my wise virgins is in the position I have purposed for him or her, and in parentheses it says, the transformation of an overcomer Always an ongoing process, as I have previously taught, and that closed parentheses. Okay, that's what a wise virgin is, a person who has um, always is in an ongoing process, which God has previously taught, okay, the separation of the harvests will be finalized. You want me to read that again? When the last one of my wise virgins is in the position I have purposed for him or her, which is the transformation of an overcomer, always an ongoing process as I have previously taught, the separation of the harvests will be finalized. You, my first fruits remnant, will be the embodiment of my word, which is pure truth, operating under a new and powerful anointing of my spirit. You will walk in supernatural peace with great power and authority while the world plunges into chaos and further darkness. Do not doubt for a moment, however, that the great I Am is in control as I bring down nations and raise them up. Watch and see what I am about to do. But to those who are not ready, it will be as a thief in the night, which comes in unaware to the owner of the house. There will be great shock at the sudden, unexpected transformation of the first group. To those who were not watching and waiting for their groom, they will soon realize it was a great mercy on my part, however, as I will allow an additional opportunity for a choice to be made for eternity with me. For those who have not heeded all my previous warnings. So perhaps if you're almost ready, but you haven't heeded all of his warnings, like maybe you haven't forgiven somebody, or maybe you've got it all right, but you haven't quit smoking. One thing, it might be one thing to get yourself holy, you'll have a second chance to stop doing that thing or start doing that thing, whatever it is. Those who are caught off guard and bewildered will remain on earth for further testing in preparation for the second transformation. They will be given another chance to put me first above all else. This road will be very, very difficult, however. Some will be martyred for my name. Others will flee the beast system and I will protect them for a time in the wilderness as they are further tested and refined by fiery trials. For you who will not be prepared for my first coming and find yourselves left to endure, 
Do not despair, for I have made a way where there would appear to be no way, as I use my chosen remnant to minister to you and lead you, the spirit of truth being restored on the earth through their testimonies as they perform great exploits in my name. My presence will be known powerfully. If you cry out to me, if you cry out to me, he says, my spirit will lead you to them and your spirit will will recognize the truth they speak is of me. My kingdom will be evident everywhere. Miracles and manifestations will occur. The reality of who I am and my purpose for my creation will finally be realized the transformation of the first group will turn some away. Yeah, there will be jealousy and hard heart. The hearts will harden because they weren't taken. Instead of looking inward to what did I do wrong? What did I not do? You know what I'm saying? And most people will know. And they'll think it's such a small thing that there was no reason to leave me behind because of that. Or whatever. But that will happen. It says further hardening hearts. As the separation becomes larger still. But more will see the mercy I have offered. And the new opportunity to still come to me in repentance in order to be prepared for the second transformation or the second opportunity to be changed from mortal to immortal before I pour out my wrath. My first group of overcomers have endured, learned discipline, and persevered through the testing and refining by fire so that holiness and humility are the result consistency, consistently. They are in a constant state of cleansing which brings about a further maturing in me and in living this way. They are being moved from glory to glory. They seek me above all else. And I am their first love. Only this group will know me fully as I am. Because there has been an inward change. A circumcision of the heart. A constant state of daily repentance and surrender. Many of the chosen remnant have paid the ultimate price for their intimacy with me and lost much in the process. They are willing to lose everything here on earth to gain me and my kingdom for eternity. These qualifications of the overcomers distinguishes them from those who have not chosen me first. The first fruits will rule the nations with a rod of iron as he and she or she has come out of the world and surrendered his or her full identity to me giving me complete ownership. The new name given them is a result of the new identity they assume, taking on my very nature, being born again as a new creation. See, 
this is when you're actually born again as a new creation. Leaving any association of the world and its heritage and the carnal nature behind. Leaving all Father has asked him or her to walk away from. To become sons and daughters of the inheritance of the new covenant. They will become my governing body and council, ruling and reigning with me. This group has overcome by enduring and maturing through the crucibles of this life in order to achieve a more perfected and eternal life in the kingdom. Those who are the meek of the earth, they put behind them all earthly ties and allegiances to friends and family, giving up earthly citizenship for kingdom citizenship. The only relationships they seek are those that I form myself. Spirit joining my true body together. Okay, that yeah, that's what it says. There's a comma after myself. The only relationships they seek are those that I form myself. Spirit joining my true body together. The overcomers give up earthly reputations in order to become my bride to who I have been espoused, keeping their oil lamps full at all times. This does not mean they have reached perfection yet but rather they are working towards the goal of the higher calling without wavering. As I indwell them, it is their task to restore righteousness on the earth, shattering the lies and delusions the church has been under for so long, having been separated out from man's traditions, rituals, and practices as I manifest my full presence from within their heart. This is my sold-out group, my faithful to the end ones who have learned to be disciplined and corrected daily in order to achieve mastery. Their spirit governing their soul nature. The hour is coming, my loves. It is almost here. Where those who are my true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. Set your minds on things above and not on things of the earth because all these things will be shaken. I am the only foundation and I will shake until there is nothing left that can be shaken. I am a consuming fire. Do you understand what I am saying? There is no escape from what is now here except in me. Those who love their lives will lose them. Those who hate life in this world will have eternal life with me. I am the only hope. You cannot stand alone with what has now begun on the earth. Do not fear. Let wisdom be your guide. Keep my commandments and live. Stay off the path of the wicked. 
my people, listen to my words. Listen to what I am saying. Hold them deeply in your heart, for they are life. Keep your hearts pure. Watch what you see and what you hear, especially from now forward. Pray to be found worthy to escape all these things that which are come upon the earth. And stand before your king, the son of man. Truly I tell you, I am coming. Yahushua. And then there's many scriptures down here. I will list the, like the book, Romans 2, 12. And you can look them up. Or they might, they might fit. More fits in the description box than what it used to. Let's see how long it is. It's a lot. She found a lot of scriptures. So, okay. So, it'll take me a little while to do that. But uh, I'm going to uh, plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this video. And I pray... I plead the blood of Jesus over Julie Wedby and ask that warrior angels surround her. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us. And um, over our devices, whatever you use to watch YouTube with and your internet connection. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.